plan I'm announcing today, we will take the billions and billions of dollars that we will collect by taxing, fining, and suing excessively large private university endowments. And we will then use that money to endow a new institution called the American Academy. Ooh, this may be revolutionary. <laughs> What's going on, good people? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you taking time out of your day or your evening, depending on what side of the pond you want, to view my content. I really do. If you are following me, make sure that you are following me on the platforms you see above and the ones below, and clicking this like button right here, which is the thumbs up button. It allows my content to consistently be recommended to you, and it also helps push this message out in the YouTube algorithm. If you are subscribed to the channel, make sure that you have that bell notification clicked. That way, when I post a video like this, you will be notified in theory. I know some of y'all are complaining that whenever I, do, whenever I do post a video, you guys are telling me that you're not getting a video to a day or two later. I'm, I told YouTube everything, folks. I at least talk to them three or four times a week about these issues that they are fixing. So, yeah. Anyway, did y'all see a little bit of that intro that what Trump said? What is that all about? So, Trump has come out, ladies and gentlemen, and pretty much announced and pledged that as the president, he is going to pretty much rival a lot of colleges right now. He's going to rival some colleges and I guess the woke ideology that are in a lot of these colleges. Now, from my understanding, I would love to see how this is going to work. And from my understanding, I have to think about what all is that going to entail? What programs are is it going to entail? How would this even get done? But if he has someone like Elon Musk on his team, JF, I mean, I'm sorry, RFK on his team. This can be something that can be very plausible. But anyway, before I give any much more of my thoughts on this, I want you guys to check out his entire message. Check it out. The plan I'm announcing today, we will take the billions and billions of dollars that we will collect by taxing, fining, and suing excessively large private university endowments. And we will then use that money to endow a new institution called the American Academy. Its mission will be to make a truly world-class education available to every American, free of charge, and do it without adding a single dime to the federal debt. This institution will gather an entire universe of the highest quality educational content covering the full spectrum of human knowledge and skills and make that material available to every American citizen online for free. Whether you want lectures or ancient histories or an introduction to financial accounting or training in a skilled trade, the goal will be to deliver it and get it done properly using study groups, mentors, industry partnerships, and the latest breakthrough in computing. This will be a truly top-tier education option for the people. It will be strictly non-political, and there will be no wokeness or jihadism allowed. None of that's going to be allowed. Most importantly, the American Academy will compete directly with the existing and very costly four-year university system by granting students degree credentials that the U.S. government and all federal contractors will henceforth recognize. The Academy will award the full and complete equivalent of a bachelor's degree. In addition, to help the 40 million Americans who have some college education but no degree, the American Academy will grant credit for past coursework at legacy institutions and give you the chance to complete your education at the American Academy for free and much more quickly than is now possible or available. This will be a revolution in higher education and will provide life-changing opportunities for tens of millions of our citizens. Enjoy it, learn from it, and thank you. Yes, yeah, so you heard all that right. Now, this sounds really good, guys, and y'all know how I am. I'm going to be realistic with you guys. I don't see how that will happen. I don't see, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it can. I'm not saying it won't. I, in my brain, can't wrap my finger around how that would happen. But at the same time, I don't have very, very super high-powered brain people on my team like those are likes of Elon Musk, you know, but this would be absolutely revolutionary if they did something like this. And I would be all for it. I would be willing to even teach 
You need somebody in the medicine? Hey, Trump, I know a lot of people that's in medicine as well that would be there, that would want to go there and teach. And like he said, the agenda of wokeness and everything would be out of the way. It would just be for pure, real education. No agendas. Elon Musk made a comment earlier on a video that I seen where Elon Musk said, like, as of right now, college is pointless, it's useless. He said, you can learn for free. That's deep. And he's absolutely right. Guys, there is nothing online right now that you cannot find that you cannot learn. Heck, all the schooling we've done, all the schooling I had to go through, all these things that we've learned going through college. I think that like almost every last type of video was on there. Even when you have to go back and do some type of, you know, refresher courses, continuing education in medicine, everything like that. It's amazing that they got these videos all online. Hip replacement, knee replacements, adjustments. Man, how, you know, um, injections, um, amniocentesis. They got lawyer classes, definitions in these classes, anthropology. They got the definitions of what anthropology is, what it does. Da, da, da. People are teaching you on there how to do chemistry, phlebotomy. I mean, uh, everything is on there. So Elon Musk saying things like, he don't think that it's necessary and learning this for free right now. He has a really good point. And this guy's, I don't know, in the future, whoo, this is going to be tough because a lot of people have to do all the schooling like what we had to. Some of the stuff, if you think about it, we could have got that on YouTube right now. And Guys, there are literally people on YouTube right now that were far advanced and far easier to understand than when I had to go to college. If you're watching this, Dr. Becton, I know there is a difference between when you went through school versus the generation like mine that went through school becoming doctors and everything. I, I think that you guys have a different, y'all had to have had a different type of training. In fact, one of my patients was a doctor himself, right? In his late eighties. You know what he said? He said, they got a bachelor's degree learning about medicine in medicine. And then he said, he went and followed a doctor around for two and a half years to three years to become the doctor that he wanted to become. That was it. That man practiced all the way into his eighties. And now here we are, we're going to school darn near 10, 11, 12 years, depending on what you're going to, anesthesiologist, man, 14 plus years, gosh, uh, orthopedics, depending on what program you're part of, orthopedic surgeon, you go there, you're there for 12, 14 years as well. But man, question is, I talk to a lot of my colleagues now, was it necessary for us to go to school that long? Was it necessary? It's amazing, man. So um, yeah, I'm for it. And it can kind of change up a whole lot of things. The question that I have on it, though, is, is it going to be with those deals where they're going to say, this is not accredited? We're not going to accept this degree. We're not going to accept this. Because when you think about it, folks, is it really the degree, that piece of paper, that makes you a doctor? Is it that piece of paper that makes you a physician assistant, that makes you a nurse, that makes you a nurse practitioner, that makes you a physical therapist, physical therapist assistant, certified occupational therapist, an occupational therapist, a speech pathologist, a lawyer? CEO, stockbrokers, is it a piece of paper to make you smart like that? Is it a piece of paper that made Warren Buffett like he is? Is it a piece of paper that made Bill Gates what he is? Elon Musk, is it that piece of paper? Or is that person's intelligence, them networking, learning things from other people that kind of bounce things off of, to float ideas around to do what they're doing right now? Most of our inventions right now that we see and that we're enjoying right now, did it take for a degree for a person to do that, if y'all follow me? it's a lot of questions on that. kind of makes you a little bit, don't it? Anyway, you guys let me know what y'all think about all this. Do you think this is something that actually is going to come to fruition? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Whatever the case may be, I would like to know with you guys leaving it in the comments below after this video. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, do what you see in that cloud right there. And also, if you would like to see the next video that I'm doing in chronological order, it most likely is going to be up here. Things that I do as a variety on this channel will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys in good health, great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.